Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for watching today. I'm David Burns. It's kind of exciting. We're nearing 10,000 subscribers and for some reason I just get my kicks out of watching the subscribers go up. So uh, thanks for subscribing and uh, we'll celebrate 10,000 somehow in a special video that we'll make just for you, our subscribers. Well, look, we just got over our Package B weekend. It was not bad. It was rainy, of course, a little cool outside, but it's good to install bees that way. But today, it keeps just sprinkling and it's cooler. Now, those of you in the Deep South, you're enjoying nice weather, probably. But uh, those of us in the Midwest and up North, we're frustrated that, you know, like tonight is going to be 39 degrees here. Uh, I installed a handful of packages and I have some splits out there that I've made and some of you have seen me make those splits. Unfortunately, uh, they've not been able to fly the last few days because of the cooler weather and the rainy weather. So now I'm going to have to go out there and make up some uh, feeding systems that I invented and I'm going to put those on those hives to help them survive. Like when you install a package of bees that hasn't released the queen yet, they don't have anything to eat in that hive. If you're installing them on undrawn foundation, you know, they don't even have a bed to lay in. So I've got to go out there and give them a little help. So it's going to be cold. Let's go out there and have some fun feeding bees in the spring in cooler weather. I am disappointed in the weather. Low tonight is to be about 39 degrees and it's May the 1st. So my splits that I made too early are pretty hungry. They haven't been able to forage the last few days due to cooler weather and the rain. And I know if you're living up in the central U.S., north U.S., northern part of the U.S., you're experiencing this unfortunate weather event for honeybees. So I'm taking some pollen patties and just getting things ready for the splits. And I've also thrown a few packages out there, a handful of packages. And they don't have any food at all. And they can't fly in and go foraging because of the cold weather. Even in the daytime, it's not really getting warm enough for the bees to fly. Look at that. Isn't that cool? How it kind of chops that up so the bees can eat it really nicely. Everybody, thanks for watching today it's uh, really cold and just a uh, word of encouragement if you've just installed a package and they're kind of small you really need to feed them from the top it's 48 degrees where I'm at right now on May the 1st here in Illinois and my bees are very cold inside and they don't have much food because if they're a new newly installed package they don't have any food an entrance feeder the bees are too clustered to go down there to the entrance so you need to feed them from the top and uh, make sure you got enough food on there to help them stay warm through the next uh, week. We've got some cold temperatures. Uh, if it's cold and you're watching this video sometime in the future, just remember that anytime in April or May in the Midwest and the North, things can get pretty cold at night uh, into May sometimes. So take the necessary precautions to keep your bees healthy. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. We'll see you next time with some new exciting beekeeping videos.